Hi everyone. I'm doing this video to uh, help uh, also confirm uh, what Tin Man is indicating that a rotating magnet rotor uh, does actually uh, increase the efficiency of a coil and uh, I will demonstrate that with my newest device which is the most efficient device that I've actually have been working with to date. So uh, this will really uh, show a lot of um, um, work that is coming out of the magnets or the magnets are assisting the whole system to be much much more efficient and uh, I thought of doing this video to also confirm uh, what he's trying to indicate that if you take away the magnet rotor the efficiency of the coil is not as good as if the rotor is turning and I'm going to prove that uh, tenfold quite easily and uh, so we have the device working at this time I have an input of 2 volts and it is util utilizing, actually I've got it set now so that these are, uh, that last dig digit is extra. So it's 10 milliamps, okay, 10, 11 milliamps at the most, okay, at 2 volts. Uh, it's fluctuating like that because of the uh, distances between the pulses. And uh, it's operating right now at a very low uh, RPM and uh, it's only about I can have it at a higher RPM. It's only about that 55 RPM at the very most. So there you go. Um, I just want to show you the uh, operating device here. This is the power supply that's feeding these here. And this, this has a little bit more stability than what you can get there. And uh, that is then feeding this uh, huge tank here, uh, capacitor, which is what's going to go into the switch and uh, that's a hundred thousand uh, microfarad so uh, just to keep things just you know a little more linear uh, when you're doing pulses like this so this is basically my switch like I said this is the scope and this is our on time here so notice we have uh, four uh, divisions here to the center line and two and a half divisions here uh, to the end where it shuts off this is our current uh, that is being consumed and there is our zero line right here and as you see here current is like slightly going back uh, on this device I am accumulating a flyback but the flyback is very very small uh, because this is such uh, efficient um, motor design basically if you want uh, the flyback is coming to this uh, tank capacitor here 20,000 microfarad and we have a hundred ohm uh, resistor on that and um, that is the voltage there across the uh, 100 ohms so it's nothing and that's because we're putting actually nothing in it basically so whatever's coming and going in you're not going to get much more out uh, I have a third scope probe attached to the oscilloscope and I will show you what that is and uh, what I'm going to do attempt to do is to simulate this exact pulse here that is happening same width, same on time, everything uh, at using the same voltage to the coil without the rotor turning and that will confirm uh, how much difference there is, how much these magnets are actually assisting the whole system to making it much much more efficient. So what I've done is I went through the trouble of getting a signal generator that's identical to Tin Man's just to do this uh, test here. No, I'm only joking. It happens that by coincidence they have the exact same uh, signal generator here. So I've got it set at 1.83 Hertz. Somewhere around there is the, exactly the uh, amount of pulses that this is doing at every second. And uh, I've got the pulse width down to uh, 3% and uh, this is what the uh, switch needs uh, for the trigger. So right now I'm triggering with an optical sensor. I'm going to be disconnecting the optical sensor and connecting the output okay, of the signal generator there to simulate the same on time and, and same characteristics as what's going on here. And we're going to look at how much power uh, it consumes. Will it be the same thing like that? Will it be uh, less? Will it be more? Well, we'll see. Uh, I think I'm already indicating it's going to be more. So let's look at our data here one more time. Okay, 
we're, uh, our current sensing resistor is on a 5 millivolt uh, division. Okay, keep that in mind, very important. Okay, we have uh, 500 millivolt divisions uh, on the uh, third channel, and our second channel, which is the uh, voltage, is this one here. We have one volt divisions. And as you see, we have uh, basically from the zero line one, two divisions. So we're sending two volts in, and this is our on time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my volt, uh, my time division, <coughs> and we're going to go out and try to look at <coughs> uh, two or three more, more pulses, basically. So now you're seeing here, this is the... Um, the motor uh, on times right here in the green and the purple here is the uh, simulated uh, pulse that's going to come from the uh, signal generator and I've already calibrated that to be exactly at the same frequency as you see it's all they're all lined up it's just getting them lined up over top of this is just impossible but you'll see once I uh, expand uh, once I switch over, you're going to count the amount of same width. Actually, I, it's going to be even a little bit smaller, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> that should use less power, right? So um, now I'm going to go back and expand. So obviously you saw that it's, it's not, you know, it's calibrated the same frequency. So I'm going to switch over now and you're going to see the same width, okay, of on time and we're going to leave the voltage like that. We're not going to change anything. And we're going to look at basically the current and to see if there's a change in efficiency. So there you go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect my opto sensor from this device here. So the motor is no longer operating. Okay. And uh, I can just stop the rotor. We'll leave the rotor stopped like that. And now I'm going to disconnect the uh, signal generator from this probe here. I'm trying to do that with one hand. And now we're going to connect the signal generator to this device, to this point here. And that should actually start the coil with the uh, simulated, okay, same uh, on time. So I am connected right now, and if we look at the scope, oh my god, <laughs> the current is huge. So <clears throat> let's count our space, make sure we've got the fair same thing happening. Okay, so we've got four divisions here, and then we have two, not quite, not quite two and a half divisions is, I just can't make it exact, because that's a, actually a 3% pulse width. And if I make it any smaller than that, it'll be too small. And if I go too bigger, it'll be bigger. So we'll live with that. Actually, this should be using less power. And there it is. That is the fact. Now, the other fact, too, is what's going on is this cannot no longer supply because I have an attenuating resistor here of 10 ohms, okay, so that I can get a stable uh, reading on this. So that's going through there, 10 ohms, and then it's going through this device here, and then that has a 1 ohm, and it's so that we can just get a slow feed, you know, to the source capacitor here, so that we can get an accurate meter reading. So, <clears throat> obviously, we're not even yet at the true level of how much current this is taking. So now I would actually have to boost the uh, output of this to uh, fill the capacitor here, Okay, to be fair. So I'm going to do that. I'm raising the voltage and I'm going to bring that so we're at 2 volts. So as you see now, we're at about 2 volts. Okay, that's close enough as an average. And if you look at our consumption, we're over, okay, 100 milliamps. And we, we were only using 10 milliamps with the rotor turning. So there you go, there's a confirmation and a ratio of 10 to 1, okay, in a boost of efficiency by making a rotor turn. So that is quite phenomenal and hopefully Tin Man will actually see that. And what I can do now is I can bring the voltage division down, okay, we're at 5 millivolts. And now I'll decrease that. Okay, so now we're at 10 millivolts, okay. 
and look, we're at uh, over two and a half uh, divisions. So we're at uh, about uh, 25, maybe. Uh, so that would be actually, yeah, uh, 25 uh, millivolts uh, across that uh, current sensing resistor, which is a 0 0.05 uh, ohm, 1% uh, resistor. So that is a huge uh, consumption, a huge difference compared to uh, what we had before. And there it is on the meters itself. So about 110 uh, milliamps in average uh, to uh, sustain just the coil operating at the same, same pulse and same voltage. So there you go. Uh, hope, hopefully uh, Tin Man will actually uh, modify his uh, magnet rotor and turn his magnets 180 degrees so that his poles are here and here instead of being here and here and he will boost his efficiency by a huge amount and uh, thanks for watching bye now